All right, so in our last video, we actually worked through a linear differential equation example. Uh, here's the first order linear differential equation that we worked on. And after a bit of algebra, we got this to be the solution. So that's not really the main point of this video. What, what I wanna look at in this video was when we got our solution, part of that solution included a plus C, uh, actually a plus C times cosine T, as a lot of these examples will have a plus C for your final answer. And the, uh, the problem had given us an initial condition, which will help us find the plus C, but I did not want to take the time to do it in that video. So I reserved this for its own video. So if you'd like to see how we got this as a solution, you can watch the previous video. But um, just for figuring out the, the plus C here, I think we're good to go. All right, see, this is a generic constant. And this um, solution, this equation, would be the solution for this differential equation for any constant. The constant could be 5 or 10 or negative 7, and all of these uh, would be solutions of this differential equation. Uh, however, when we want it to satisfy an initial condition, well, then that nails it down to only one answer. So how do we find the specific C given this as an initial condition? Well, the zero is your T value, right? Your independent variable. And one is in this case, your Y, which is your, your dependent variable. So it really is pretty straightforward. You just plug in one for y, and you plug in zero for x, sine zero plus zero times cosine zero plus c times cosine of zero. So do that algebra, you have one equals sine of zero is zero, zero times anything is zero, and here you get c times one, so C, the constant of integration is one. That's our specific numerical value for C. And the way I found it was using the initial conditions. So for our final answer, uh, you would probably want to write an extra line. Uh, I think what I will do is actually just um, erase this. Just erase this right here, uh, just to speed things along. So, so now that I know what our C is, I'll just take that C out and we can replace it with a one, or in this case, writing cosine of T times one doesn't really help us that much. You could just leave it plus cosine T and that would suffice. So this would be a solution to the differential equation who specifically satisfies this initial condition right here.